Hello friends. This is tutorial series on how to build one-to-one -one chat application in PHP using Ratchet WebSocket library. And under this part, we will design chat area for one-to-one -one chat application. In previous part, we have learned two things. One is to generate token string at the time of login into system and store that token string in MySQL database. And then after based on that token string, we have identify user details. And then after store connection ID number in database. Here connection ID number has been generated by Ratchet WebSocket server. And based on that number, we can identify user under this system. That part is very important. If you have not seen that part, so please that part first. And then after watch this part. Now let's start discussing this topic. So we have open private chat.php file and here we have create one input type is equal to hidden field with name is equal to login user ID and ID is equal to login user ID and in value attribute we have write PHP echo statement with dollar login user ID variable. So here we have store login user ID details under this hidden field. Same way below, we have create one more input type hidden field, with name is equal to is active chat, id is equal to is active chat, and in value, we have write no, this field value will be yes, if there is login user has chat with other user, otherwise this field value will be no. Now we want to design chat area, so here, we have create one division tag with id is equal to chat area, under this division tag, we will load dynamic one to one chat application data. So here, when we have click on any user data, from the user list, then dynamic chat history data will be load under this chat area tag. Now we have moved to jQuery code part, so here we have defined one variable, receiver user id with blank value under this variable we will store user id details on which we have click from the list of user after this here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have write click event with select user class so when user has click on any user from the list of user then it will execute this block of code Under this block, we have write received user ID variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write user ID so it will fetch value from data user ID selector and store under this receiver user ID variable. After this we want to store login user ID details. So here we have write from user ID variable is equal to dollar with hidden field with ID login user ID with value method. Next, we want to get user name on which we have click from the user list. So here we have write receiver user name variable is equal to dollar with span tag id list user name with value of receiver id variable with text method so it will return user name on which user has been clicked from chat below this we have write dollar with select user class and active class with remove class method and under this we have write active so this code will remove any active class has been used with select user class same way we want to assign active class to only lastly clicked user area so for this here we have write dollar this with add class method and here we have write active so it will add active class to last clicked user area
After this, we have called make chat area function with receiver user name as argument. So this function will create chat history area with chat form. Now, here we have create make chat area function with user name as argument. Under this function, we have write HTML variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to bootstrap card class. Between this division tag, we have create one more division tag with class is equal to bootstrap card header class. Under this card header division tag, we have create division tag with class is equal to bootstrap row class. Under this row class, we have create one more division tag with class is equal to column and column small 6 class. Here we have create two division tag with same class and in second tag, we have also a text write class. In first division tag, we have write text like chat with span tag with class is equal to text danger and is equal to chat user name and between this span tag, we have write user name variable so it will display user name to whom login user has chat. Same way, in second division tag, we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to chat room dot php file name, and in anchor text, we have write group chat, so it will make link for go to group chat page. After this, we want to make button for close, this chat area, so here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, class is equal to close, ID is equal to close chat area, data dismiss area is equal to alert, and area label attribute is equal to close. After this, between this button tag, we has write this HTML code, so it will make button for close this chat area. Next. Here we have again create one more division tag, with class is equal to card body, and id is equal to message area, under this division tag, we will load chat history generated between this two user, this things we will learn in next part. Now we want to make chat form, so here we have write form tag, with id is equal to chat form, method is equal to post, Data parsley error container is equal to validation error. So here we will use parsley JavaScript library for validate form data. Under this form tag, we have create one text area field with class is equal to form control, ID is equal to chat message, name is equal to chat message, and placeholder attribute is equal to type message here after this for validate form data here we have write data parsley max length is equal to 1000 for not enter more than 1000 character After this, we have write data parsley pattern is equal to this pattern, so it will check message content, and for required field validation, here we have write required, so this field value is required for submit form data. Now for submit form data, here we have write button tag with type is equal to submit, name is equal to send, id is equal to send, 
So when login user has click on this submit, then chat message will be sent. Below this, we have create one division tag, with id is equal to validation error, under this tag, we will display parsley validation error. So here our HTML code is ready, now we want to display this HTML code, under division tag with id is equal to chat area, so for this, here we have write dollar, with division tag id chat area, with HTML method, and under this, we have write HTML, so it will display HTML tag content, under this division tag. After this, we want to initialize Parsley JavaScript library, so here we have write dollar with form id chat form, with Parsley method, so it will initialize Parsley JavaScript library on form, with id chat form. Next, we have go to this click event code, here we have write, dollar with hidden tag id, is active chat with value method, and under this, we have write yes, so it will assign this value to this hidden field, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. So first we have go to command prompt, and here we run php command with bin folder name slash server dot php, so it will start ratchet websocket server. Now here, we have enter our chat application URL, and here on web page, we can see login page has been load. So here we have enter login details like, email address details and password details. After this, we have click on login button, after click on login button here we can see page has been redirect to chatroom.php page, on this page all user can chat with each other. But we want to chat one to one user, so here we can see private chat button, so we have click on this button, and after this it redirect us to private chat.php. Now here we can see register user list at left side. Now we want to chat with this user, so we have click on this user, so after click on this user, here we can see chat area has been appear on web page. Under this, we will load chat history data in next part, and below, we can see chat form, now we have click on send button, so here we can see validation error, because here we have used parsley javascript library for validate form data. Here on header side, we can also see one link for go to group chat page, and after this, we can see close button, so when we have click on this close button, then this chat area must be close, so for this, we have go to private chat.php page. And here we have write, dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this, we have write click event with close button id close chat area, so when we have click on close button, then it will execute if block of code. Under this, block of code, we have write, dollar with division tag with id chat area, with html method, and under this, we have write blank value, so it will remove all HTML content from this tag, and it will hide content from this tag. After this, we want to remove active class, from all select user class, so here we have write, dollar with class select user, and active class, with remove class method, and under this, we have write active class, so it will remove active class, from select user class, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see user list, now we want to chat with this user. So, 
we have click on this user name, after this, on web page, we can see chat area has been appear on web page, with chat form and close button also. Now we want to close this area, so we have click on this close button, after click on this close button, here we can see complete chat area has been closed from web page. So in this video tutorial, we have designed chat area, so when we have click on any user, then chat area appear on web page, with chat form, and in next part, we will learn how to load single user chat history data, under this chat application. Thank you for watching this video, we will be meet in next part of this real time one to one. Chat application using Ratchet PHP WebSocket Library with MySQL database.